Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Infiltration. So after that crushing defeat yesterday, and yeah, it was pretty bad. We lost uh, two mechs. Well, we didn't lose them. They went down. Um, but that was a pretty heavy defeat. Uh, if we go to the mech bay real quick here, um, we're going to have a look and see where we're at here. So the Atlas is back in two days. Now I did a refit on this guy. This was the Ultra 20, uh, Ultra 10 version. And what I did is I pulled off the Ultra 10 because it was basically a scattershot Ultra 10. Replaced it with two large improved heavy lasers. Added some heat sinking and everything else in there. Uh, also I put the, uh, the um, I think it was the Feral, well it was the Feral Lamellar. Uh, anyway, the uh, armor reduction uh, damage um, on this guy. So he's looking pretty good actually. I kind of... Uh, please at how it turned out uh, but we got two days before that's back uh, I also did a few other things here to some of the other mechs just to kind of do a few more tweaks here so um, was it the Timberwolf E? Yeah the Timberwolf E I did a, a bunch of adjustments on it we were able to squeeze in a light tag and a laser AMS uh, I can't remember what I ended up pulling out of this um, Patchwork Tier 2 went in I think I added heavy, no, it was regular Pharaoh. I don't know what I did. I added, I added something to be able to increase the weight. I don't know what it was. Um, so that's a little better off. Uh, the Naga, I switched up. So b before on the Naga, we had um, the arrow system and AMS, and that wasn't really working all that well. So I decided to change it up a little bit here. And this guy is a fast mech, so uh, we're just going to go with an LRM50 build on this for now. Um, it does have a fire control system for long range missile tracking, extreme range Artemis system. So it's got uh, LRM Artemis ammo. We only had a half a ton of uh, dead of uh, Hydra ammo, so I dropped that in there as well. This mech is really hard to load out uh, unless you strip off all the armor. It becomes a very difficult uh, difficult mech indeed to load out. So it's got a Guardian ECM exchanger. It does have the 400 core, which makes it really really tough to like cram stuff in here because um, there really isn't a lot of weight. Heat sinking is pretty good, so we're going to run with this. See how it does. Now, we've got a mission today. Now, I think that was all I did. Oh, the Zeus. I had to pull out the tracker sensors out of the Orion, I think it was. No, it wasn't the Orion. It was somebody. The Naga? I think it was the Naga that had it. Pull it out of the Naga, drop it into Zeus, because that was the thing that we were missing. Nova CWS went in here and everything's back to normal in the Zeus now. Um, we haven't got our primary direwolf back yet, so we're going to need a Nova CWS. Uh, we lost the fire control system predator, which really sucks. Um, so we're going to have to try and find some stuff for this mech to get it back up and running. I don't know what we're going to do. But anyway, right now we're going to go ahead and take a mission here. we got one day before the financial report. Now I sold off a whole bunch of mech parts that you know, we had one medium mech part, a bunch of heavies, a couple of assault parts that were just really junk, like the Emperor and the and the um, the Mackie parts, things like that. Um, just in order to have some C-bills to work with the repairs and uh, to make our financial report for this month. So um, we do have one mission we can do here. Whether this turns out good or not, I don't know. Decapitation, 313, three and a half skull. I think we're, we should be okay for this. So let's negotiate this, and we're going to go full salvage on it, because we definitely need it. Get some rep back with Clan Wolf. Now, I'm going to leave out... Uh, let's bring in you. Uh, let's bring the Juggernaut in, because why not? Uh, Hellion, Gundal. We're going to keep our two primary lances, uh, Mastodon and Workhorse. Now, some of our pilots did gain some skills here, which is good. Uh, not a lot. Uh, mostly our backup pilots gained a little bit of skill here. I think Workhorse was able to get Tactics to 7, I think. Or was it... I think it was Workhorse. Anyway, better indirect fire is all he's got there. So, um... We have the... Uh, is this our... Yeah, we want to bring the AMS mech for sure. Let's drop it on Workhorse. And... Let's bring the archer. Sure. And then 
We're going to punish our main guy. Actually, you know what? Let's bring the Naga. <laughs> Give our main guy the Naga. It's punishment for losing this mech. Or we want to give him the Orion here. We haven't played... Well, you know what? We haven't run the Naga. This one... Let's leave the Dire Wolf out. And let's run the Orion again. Just as different, uh, different mechs here. Let's leave this Night Gear out. Uh, let's bring you in. Because we haven't run these guys in a while. Night Gear Prime. This is the Arrow mech. Let's leave that out as well. I might regret it later. We've got a lot of LRMs in this lineup, but let's run this because we haven't run uh, the Juggernaut plus these four in a long time. So let's run them now and to see how we do. All right, here we go. We crashed on the way down here, but I reloaded and looks like we're going to have some fun with this guy. I have no idea what that is. I don't know. So many mechs now, I don't know. Looks like we've got three support lances. So most likely we're facing, because these are pirates, so about 12. And let's say worst case scenario, he's got four. Uh, worst case scenario, 17. So way better odds than we had last time, and we're on a good map for this. So we haven't been on this one for quite a while. All right, uh, punishment mech. Let's uh, sprint up here. We got the speed. Might as well use it. So as we're shifting into a uh, position here, um, just want to ask how everyone's doing with the uh, COVID-19 thing. Yes, Commander. Hope everybody's staying safe. Hope everybody's taking it seriously too. Um, if you haven't actually read the information on COVID-19 and what it actually does when it affects the human body, I suggest you go ahead and find out about that. Yes. Um, as far as where it started, I've heard different different people say different things like my neighbor said to me. It's like, I think the Chinese government injected somebody with something. And I'm like, dude, you haven't done any reading, have you? Um, but anyway, uh, as far as that goes, I, I suggest just read up about it, check out on it, and don't, don't shrug it off because it's not... Um, it's not one of those things that you want to shrug off. Um, I've heard people say, oh, I'm not that worried. It's like, well, yeah, okay. If you want to talk percentages, what's your percentage chance of getting it and all that crap? Yeah, okay. Yeah, maybe it's pretty low. Um, but the problem is, is that you're not going to know you have it for quite some time. Uh, and do you want to take that chance not knowing you have it and with your family and everything? Is that what you want to do? You know? So, just take it seriously. It's all I'm asking. Um, good thing we got a jump jet. But I'm going to leave the, leave it with that because, you know, everybody should do their due, gil, dil, due diligence in times like this. Nobody should be scolding anybody with this, that, the other thing, whatever. But just do your due diligence. Now it's getting to some combat. That's why we're all here. Okay, coward man, move up. See if you can spot somebody from over here. Oh yeah. So what do we got? Stalker? No, Helopolis. Of course we do. Hexacopolopolis. Emperor. Well, it's not too bad, I guess. Gla okay, it looks like they're these guys are really weak. Except for the arrow system. Arrow one shot. Thunderbolt pack. That's five thunderbolts. Hellstorm artillery, that's not good. We gotta shoot this guy. Here it comes. Oh, somebody's got AMS. Can we see who it is? Nope. What's up, boss? Some asteroids got AMS. All right, keep on the Hexacopolopolis. Uh, we could hit with dead fire. Do we want to do an LRM-60 with dead fire on this guy? No, I don't think so. Not yet. Just fire this. At least they're all full. Uh, I'm listening. 
Well, at least they're all full armor. Okay, let's see if you can shred. What do we got over here? Another one, figures. Let's work on this guy first, though. See if we can make this guy not, not be here anymore. Uh, we're going to use everything on him. Oh, uh, we fell short with the barrage. Oh, well. Reporting. I know we're bunching up. Yes, Probably a bad idea. Ooh, we only hit with Ultra 5s, eh? That guy's a little better. Eh. Alright, well, let's multi-target. And let's save the barrage. I don't want to fire it at that, that chance to hit. On okay, one hit. Not bad. Yeah, a little bit of damage. What do you think, Lulu Dallas? Right. Wind it up. Warlord this sucker. Yupper. Okay, one of the big ones hit. That's nice. Nice. Get your ass up here. We need your AMS. Uh. Ooh, Hydra's out of range. That's fine. We'll just use the regular Artemis. Just use the Artemis. Burn, you bastard. Burn. Burn. Sorry, that's the <laughs> Monty Python uh, witch skit. If you've never seen it, it's definitely worth going to see. They're trying to figure out how they figure out if somebody's a witch or not. And they go through this whole rigorous uh, thought thought process of, of how you determine if someone's a witch or not. It was something like witches float or something. So you wrap somebody up in a bag and throw them in the river. And if they uh, if they float, they're a witch and you burn them. But if they sink, then they're not a witch. So if they sink and drown, <laughs> they're not a witch. It's like, so you damned if you do, damned if you don't. Anyway, it's a it's a hilarious skit. Skit, and they're all talking about whether they should burn the witch or not. I think it's um, it's uh, what's his name? Um, is it Terry Gillian? That's like screaming, burn, burn. Just wants to see her burn. Wow. Okay, this is a heat problem, Mech. I guess I never did iron out the heat issue on this Mech, eh? <laughs> <laughs> oh jeez, that's terrible. All right, let's just fire these and just. I'm sure it's more devastating at closer range, but <laughs> wow, that heat. Just fill the air with AMS. This is going to be a steamroll. Well, it'll feel good. It'll feel really good after that last uh, mission, that's for sure. For me, anyway, playing the game. I don't know if it'll be that exciting for you guys watching. But we'll see how it goes. I mean, we do have lighter mechs, so... I mean, they may end up with some really good guys. That's the full crumb. I don't know if this is like a new version of the Helopolis or if it's Helopolis. Rough neck. Okay, that's a little better. All right, we're going to play this free and loose now. We're just going to rush in. We're just gonna we're just gonna push this hill, rush the hill, and smash the leader. Make them run. Let's make these guys run like we normally do.
I guess I could have tried to come down here with one lance, but you know, it's like when you're playing at this difficulty, I mean, like, I'm okay, it's not that high of a difficulty, but it's higher than normal for me. When you're playing at a higher difficulty, you just don't want to take the chance because you never know, right? Never know what you're going to get. Yeah, that was a Thunderbolt. So this is the same version, I think, as the other guy, the arrow one shot and then the uh, Thunderbolts, which I guess is good for me. Yeah, a three and a half skull. I mean, three and a half, four skull. It's like you never know what you're going to get, right? There's a hole in my armor, and I don't know what to do about it. My armor is getting ripped off. My armor is getting ripped off. Full you know who's getting ripped off? Me. I'm paying for you guys, and all I'm getting is complaints. That's who's getting ripped off. That's what's up. Emperor, take it right in the face. Probably should have shot for the Helopolis, but Commander. Helopolis. But we got a faster guy here. It's going to be a little closer. Aye, aye. I think he's got dead fire too. He sure as hell does. Shred him! Wow. Terrible chances to hit, but we'll take it with the dead fire. Eh. I should be firing and then maneuvering, but like, let's give him a chance. Leave that off for now. Uh, let's just fire the rest. All right. I'm probably better off firing and then maneuvering. Let's just try and kill this guy. Huh. Badass. Roger. Hellion. Oh, Rax jammed already, huh? Well. Oh, we can't direct fire the, uh... That's alright, we'll move up. Just want to try to stay as high up as I can here. Get a better chance to hit on this guy. Fire it all. Confirmed. Looks like the streak's hit. Mm. Going down. It's at least two pilot injuries. Okay, she's a little unstable, so we'll move her down. Get some stability back. But let's fire on this guy. Here it comes. Okay, hey, one of the big ones hit. That's nice. Good to go. Let's keep everybody under AMS here. Okay, this is going to be a multi. And B and B and A. Here it comes. Roger that. Finishing move. See ya. I love that whirring down sound. Where the, you can hear the engine boo when it gets killed. It's kind of cool. It's like, yep, it's all it's all done for you. Roughneck with no armor. Well, that's legitimately disappointing. Oh yeah, thanks for showing up. I think the AMS is jammed. I think our, uh, I think our, um, Juggernaut's gonna have to go step on some vehicles because <laughs> he's just no good with heat. Yes, Commander. Go step on some vehicles for me, will ya? Okay. Full speed it is. get our heat back <laughs> before we spit on people again.
Do I, uh, do I have a double heatsink kit in this? I, I must have. I don't know. I, I don't know how I calculated the the heat on these so incorrectly. I don't know. Whatever. Whatever. Ow. I'm showing minor damage. Where did that come from? It wasn't from the Helopolis, was it? No. Okay, like TBM 10 carrier. That's the rough neck. Oh, didn't see that guy. Somebody's dropping some mines. Ebola. Okay. Yeah, maybe you better get back here under the AMS. <laughs> Probably a good idea. What was that? A bombard. Okay. That's that asshole ballistic guy. Yeah, we know who we're shooting for this turn. Who's got the back shot? Oh, this guy's running. Because of course he is. Alright, let's hammer this guy. Got to switch targets here. This guy's got to go. Wow, he's in range for dead fire. It's crazy. That's some pretty good dead fire range. Did I put the ranged? I can't remember if he's got like a battle computer that adds range to it or not. Oh! Ow! Armor blow through. Commander. Can you, uh... Ooh, that's tough to hit, eh? This guy's running. Should I just shred him? Let's just shred him. He's running. See ya. You want to run, that's what you get. Orders. Get over here. Firing on this guy. Well, there's the knockdown. Let's see if we can get a, uh, oh. Nah, not a good chance on that guy. Let's do this. I know we were going to move forward, but we really got to get rid of this guy. Let's look for some CT hits on him. Going to leave the barrage off. Um... Let's use the Warlord. Hopefully we get a better chance. Well, a little better chance to hit. CT, here it comes. Nice, we got two of those hit. A little bit of penetration. Nah, uh, nope. How do we get... Oh, there we go. It's weird. It's like this one small, narrow place where we can see this guy. CT, please. Here it comes. Beautiful. Down. Well, there goes two of the pain in the asses. Now all we gotta do is get this rough neck. Where is he? Right up here. 
It's got lower armor too, so I'm not worried about it. I was gonna pull the Cyclops back, but I don't know if we are the sorry the Cyclops, the Juggernaut. I don't know if we have to though. Is he the only one that has to go yet? I think so. Oh, we got gun. We got uh, workhorse here still too. Get down here as far as you can go. Switch him back to Artemis. Much better chance to hit with the Artemis on this guy. Yeah, wow, indirect is like so terrible from here. All right, let's fire on this guy. He's full armor. We're not going to kill him, but let's force him to run. Hopefully he runs for a couple of turns. That's the vehicle moving. Oh, he's in stepping range. I think. Might be in stepping range of the Cyclops. The Cyclops, the Juggernaut. My god, I'm going <laughs> to... It's just as bad as a dagger and the Locust. Nice. All right. Sorry I gave you such a garbage mech, buddy. I really am. Really am. Let's get up here. Okay, so... If I do this... What's the heat look like? Okay, that's so much better. All right, that's not too bad. I'm gonna warlord this. I want to see what kind of damage we can do on something at close range. So here it comes. Oh yeah, that's a shredding beast, man. That's a juggernaut. <laughs> So I guess it's good if we can get this guy into a position where we can do that and then wait a turn and then do the same thing again. Because the heat's ridiculous. It really is. Yeah, I'm outpacing my AMS. Yeah, it's alright. Manticore. Balrog. Balrog, a demon of the ancient world. Your weapons are no use here. Run! Full Let's give it to him. Here it comes. Good luck, with, good luck with your AMS stopping all those. Um, yeah, let's use up the dead fire. Should we, or we should just go... Let's just go Artemis. Way better chance to hit. Oh, both lasers hit. That's nice. There you go. There you go. Heavy armor, armor, yeah. Heavy MRM twenty swarm. Hope we can get the uh, ammo off this guy. Let's just fire from here and then we'll move forward. He's got very little armor, so. That was a critical hit. Sure was. Let's keep going forward. Yeah, you're woefully out of position. I understand. I think I might send him after the vehicles. He's probably got he's probably got the best uh, weapons for that. Let's Just move over here. Take a pot shot. Okay, one hit. 
That's nice. Was that two hit or one hit? Looked like two. Looked like two could have been just one. All right, let's drop it on you. Sure. It's got like no armor left. Wow, six points of damage, eh? Ready for order. So glad you showed up to the fight. All right, this ought to help. Look at that, I'm nicely spread out too. Try for a kill on this guy with the Hydra? Sure, why not? <laughs> there you go. OP ammo. <sighs> Bombard. Moving up like he's actually got full armor. Alright, buddy. Get on these guys. Ooh, really, eh? Let's turn these ones off for now till we get close. This far, these guys. Now, we start generating a lot of heat if we uh, go with too many. Let's just go this route till we get close. Yeah, not too bad, I guess. This guy's got a lot of armor, it looks like. Yeah, almost 900. Man, of course, got 700. Nothing really dangerous. A lot of flamers, but even if he hits me, I'm just going to step on him. Yeah, he's running. It's kind of bizarre. Backing up, showing your front armor, because uh, that's the strongest. Uh, we should be close enough to do some damage to that bola in a second, so we should take him out this turn with indirect fire. Now that really all the, I mean, all the threats are really gone here now. It'll be interesting to see what the main mech is. It's nice to be able to go into missions like this and do weapon platforms tests. Because, I mean, let's face it, the loadouts that I've got on these mechs right now are really not, uh, they wouldn't survive in a higher skull, so there's just no way. Like, this is an 80-ton mech. And it's fine, you know, if, um, it's fine if you're, um, if it's got two arrow systems on it and no armor. But it's not fine if you're trying to, you know, use it properly <laughs> or use it with uh, the way that I'm using it. Look at this thing. Look at it. Look at it. Enemy unit destroyed. Waiting for order. That's a hard hit, that one was. See, we traded, we traded firepower for speed with these guys. In the last series, that was just, I enjoyed the speed. 27 on the Bombard, we'll take that. I really enjoy the speed with these mechs. But having two lances and the sheer number of enemies that we have now, it's just not, it's just not possible. Alright, gonna go this route. Well, the closer I get, the more damage it does. I don't think you're going to get a chance to shoot anybody anymore, buddy. At least she's got to learn 15. Contribute to the battle with a little 8 points damage. Okay, you get the bola. 
Maybe not. Ah, oh, there's a bunch of hits there. Nice. I'm here. Yeah, you're not getting anything. You're not getting anything. It's bad that the AMS is like the last mech to move. Burn! Still gonna shoot, huh? Thanks for showing up. Kind of a nice medium mech though. A pair of Thunderbolts. But with AMS so uh, popular now or so easily obtainable now, the Thunderbolts are just, just a waste of time. That guy's running. He's like, fuck this, I ain't staying around. These guys are coming to kill me. So we got five left. So... What are we missing here? We got the Bola, the Bombard, the two tanks on the right hand side, and then what? I killed the vehicle. I killed this guy. What are we missing? Oh, no, that was the vehicle. I don't see anything else here. Well, we'll find out in a second when these guys outpace the AMS again. They're running from you, buddy. Oh, there's another vehicle back there. Ball rog. Couple of rogs. All right. Let's just do this. See if we can kill Ebola. Yep. Enemy unit destroyed. Let's just get this over with if we can. I'm gonna drop some on this guy. Hopefully we can kill him this turn. Here it comes. Um, let's go down and help him out. Let's go help him out. Oh, yeah, look at this. That's a good chance of the hit. We're going to Warlord this. Let's make it even better. Here it comes. It's got a lot more armor, though, so not going to be a kill. Oh. Roger that. What is this guy? Thunderbolt, 70 tons. Oh, buddy. Gonna give you a face full of it. Here it comes. Target neutralized. Shredded. Yeah, we used to play uh, Middle Earth role playing when I was younger, and we used a system um, called Role Master for that. Uh, the Middle Earth role playing game is kind of based off Role Master, same kind of idea, but very very simple rules, very simplistic. 
whereas the actual role master role master set of rules are very complex so we use these the role master rules and um, we played um, the uh, Mariah source book and it was like they had the details for the ball rog and all that stuff it was crazy like I could imagine going into Moria and having to face the ball rog I mean, he wasn't as tough as I thought he was going to be, um, but still, the, the the terror alone to have to face that thing, it's crazy. Alright, just walk it up, get some stability back. And let's turn both of these guys on too, do a little bit of damage. See ya. I'm thinking we take those AP Goss rifles off of there. I think we do. Chance to hit is pretty darn low on them. Figure out something else. Maybe like... I don't know, like regular lasers or something? Or I don't know, just for backup? Alright, let's kill this boss now. So we got 60 of Hydra. Ah, it's so much better to hit with this though. Concentrate your fire and bring it down. Concentrate your fire and bring it down. You got that right! Wow. Well, at least the barrage got him in the fire. Did I somehow turn one of these, one of these off? Really? Ah, screw it. Just go into the overheat. Hammer him. Roger that. I copy. Yeah, you know the archer is like... For a 70 ton inner sphere mech, it certainly does a good job, I gotta say. Yeah, the biggest drawback of the clan mechs is not being able to swap out the, the core. That's really the that's the only real drawback of them. Come on. Five point eight with Hydra. Eh? Well, we got it. Might as well use it. Warm him up. Maybe he won't shoot. Looking for a side shot, baby, you believe it. Ooh. Yeah, well, let's Warlord this. And then let's crank these up. Here it comes. Wow. <laughs> See ya. <laughs> He's like, nah, just press the fucking self-destruct button. We're going home. That's it. Let's just go home. Yeah, we're going to pull off those, uh, the two AP, whatever they are, AP Goss, multi-shot, and see what else we can put on there. Now, I think those are only a, like a couple tons each. They don't weigh that much, I don't think, but... 
If we can cram some heat sinking in here, that would be that would work out really well. I don't think we got any exchangers left though. That's going to be an issue. Oh, I think we do. I think we've got like a level one exchanger or something. That was what I pulled out of the. Uh, yeah, I was. I'm like thinking, what is it that I pulled out of the? Um, uh, where are you? I was wondering what I pulled out of that mad cat. Wow, I still can't hit this guy? Might as well. That's going to heat him up pretty good, I think. Good to go. Probably can't see him because there's like the heat signature is just like, I don't know, there's just a big smudge over there of heat. No there we go. Yeah, bastard. Dead fire. With He's certainly resisting damage really well. can't be any functioning trees over there anymore. Wow, it was terrible. Uh, Hellion, how far back are you still? Put it right between us. Please don't put it right on us. I don't know. That's iffy. Still a little iffy. But you know how we do. Okay, at least it hit back there. <laughs> I think I hit one of my own guys though. Yeah, blame her for that. It ain't my fault. Uh, sure. We got the Hydra. Might as well use it. 54 heat. That's not bad. Yes, Commander. Flames on the way. We looks like we're going to be shooting right over the head of our Oh no, we're not. It did it looked that way originally, but Confirmed. Guys finally unsteady. Where are you going? Yeah, you're right. You probably should show your back to us. Because uh, that's got more armor. Go. Alright, let's hammer this guy. But not with this much. Yeah, that'll work. 99%, huh? Wow. All right, buddy. You could either be the uh, the hero or the guy who fumbles the ball. I'm sure I told you that story before. My one and only year of playing football. Our coach used to be a uh, a football player for the uh, winter play. Winnipeg Blue Bombers and uh, let's face it I was a completely uh, I was a completely terrible football player and our football team really wasn't that good either so 40% increase so his son played on the team and he was a fullback and I was a halfback slash receiver now that's not saying much because I was pretty bad. Ooh, three Thunderbolt parts. We should take this for the Sea Bills. That's the Eris, right? We're going to take that for the Sea Bills. Unless there's something else we want here. Anyway, it says I was. Oh, there's the. Oh, that's a small blaze fire. Um, so his son 
Hellstorm Artillery, 30 times 3. Budget delivery. <laughs> Sorry, it just says it up. I can't point with the mouse because it goes away, but the top uh, right of the uh, the description says budget delivery. Area effect in 6 minute impact. I'll get back. Rotary howitzer. One to six, one to six shots. Now, is that its own ammo? Oh, he's got, we got weapon mounts, so we don't need these. We don't have weapon mounts. Oh, upper recoil too. Oh, really? Spa liner, that was what I was thinking before. Sorry, my brain is like going all over the place. I should really grab what we're going to need here rather than this. We got the sea bills. Let's just frig that. Come on. Move it. So back to the football story. So, uh, yeah, so every play was the coach's son, handoff, either left or right, running through the line. That was it. That's what he did. He was good. Don't get me wrong, the guy the guy was built like a brick shit house and he was good at what he did, but the coach just didn't feel like he had the team to be able to run pass plays or anything like that. Ooh, that's nice too. That might work in the uh in the uh, juggernaut. So what he would do was like in I still remember this. We were doing uh practice. Anyways, so the guy would uh throw the quarterback would throw me a pass. We had a pretty good quarterback. Throw me a pass, and I would catch it. And the, the guy's like, "Yeah, that was great catch." And then the next, the next one, the the guy <laughs> throws me the pass, and I and I drop it. Right? It was a good pass. It wasn't like it was a bad pass. It was a good pass, and I dropped the damn thing. And he's like, <laughs> the coach was like, "Yeah, you know that uh, that last play, the uh, the uh, crowd was throwing roses at you. Now, they're, now they're throwing bottles at you." <laughs> I'm like, well, what do you want me to do? I'm not, I'm not a good football player. Like, what can I tell you? I played one year, and I ended up quitting because, like, really, like, how fun can it be when, like, every play is like handoff to the uh, the fullback, and the fullback goes through the line, and it's like I go out to the flank. Everybody knows it's going to the fullback. I got to run, you know, run my patterns, run straight down, and cut to the center, cut cut wide. You know, thinking that, you know, they're trying to lead them to believe that, hey, they may pass to me, <laughs> but they never did. So I, I, that was the only time I ever quit a sport. My parents made me, and this was, I, you know, I always, I give a thumbs up to my parents for this, but they made me call the quarterback and quit. And he was devastated when I quit. When I explained to him, I said, look, I'm not, I'm not that good at football and I'm not having fun and. I'm going to quit and he's like he tried to convince me to stay right but and I don't honestly I it's a weird thing thinking back I don't know if he tried to convince me to stay because he needed the extra player or he tried to convince me to stay because he felt like he failed me as a coach it's an interesting um conundrum because he was a nice generally generally he was a nice guy but i think he was thinking like you know a professional coach not a hey i'm coaching kids you know yeah we may not like, like for him i guess the winning was was more important than than playing the game and for me i was there to play i i, I just wanted to hang out play the game have fun yeah if i dropped the ball i dropped the ball so what right where the hell did the upper arm things go? Am I looking at the wrong stuff here? There they are. I'm going to take these upper recoil. We don't have any, do we? I think those are more valuable right now than the arm. Well, I don't know. We don't really have any mechs that the arm mounts can fit on, but I know I can get the upper recoil into a few other things. So we'll take those. I think this is pretty good, I think, for what we had. So what else did we get? Gladiator and Roughneck Peace. We got the Hellstorm Artillery. Uses heavy rifle ammo. Thirty times three. Eighteen tons though. Like I mean, what the hell would you put that on? That's crazy weight. 
reinforce. We got a couple of these, don't we? No, we don't have any. All right, I think we made out pretty good for stuff we lost last episode. We gained some good stuff back this episode, so that's good. All right, 221,000. That's actually pretty good. 16 days to repair, sure, but a lot of the mechs are like the older ones I don't really care too much about. I'll manage the task in a second here. But uh, yeah, so as I was saying with the football coach, now I, I don't know if he was like, it's hard to say whether he was just sad because somebody quit on him and he felt like he failed me or if he was more worried with the team. I think it was the latter. I think he, or the, the former, I think he was more concerned that he kind of failed as a coach, which in a way is sad. But, you know, I, I still, I mean, I had a, uh, my last two years of playing hockey, I had the, I had the same coach and um, he was hard on the team. And yeah, he would play strategically sometimes when he knew the game was at stake and he wanted to win for sure but he played everybody I mean I wasn't the best defenseman in the world for sure um, and I was definitely a, you know one of the you know I don't want to say worst members of the team but on the bottom of the list of the team um, but I tried really hard and um, but he played everybody that's the thing he played everybody and he was like you know he would celebrate the uh, the little wins for everybody like if I'd make a really great you know hip check or whatever he was like on top of that you know oh my god it's so amazing yeah yeah keep it up yeah you know but um yeah i don't know it's just interesting like it's the di the different coaching dynamics i guess it's difficult i've never coached a team so i can't really say but it must be really tough to kind of balance that you know everybody's playing and everybody's having fun with you know let's not get too discouraged if we're not a good team and we're losing all the time and how to try to pull the team out of that. I don't know. It's like, it's an interesting dynamic. Anyway, I'm going to end this episode here, guys. I'm going to get the mechs fixed up between episodes and we'll see how it goes. Um, get the other mechs back. Now we've got a few C-bills. We're going to go through one financial report and then we'll see what the cost is going to be for the big boys here. I'm going to move them up to the top now. Um, but yeah, we'll see how that goes. So I'm going to end the episode here. If you enjoyed it, drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. You can also drop any comments in the comment section down below. Until next time, we'll see you later.